Today we're playing Pokemon Infinite Fusion, but we're only using the weirdest and most cursed Pokemon that we can find. After finding Mr. Surrey in my last run, I knew I had to ask you guys on Twitter, where you should follow me on by the way, what the most cursed fusions were that you guys found. I got a ton of replies with a bunch of stuff that gave me nightmares, so thank you for that. Before we jump into it, let me know what the worst fusion is that you have personally found. Let's also try to smash 666 likes because the devil will be coming for us after this one. And with all of that out of the way, let's jump right into Infinite Fusion Cursed Edition. So before jumping into our journey, I decided to randomize everything so that I could find more cursed Pokemon and just spice everything up in general. I really wanted to find a Mr. Mime as fast as possible because that thing just makes for absolute beauties. And after naming our rival Mob, I headed straight to the professor's lab. I actually had a choice between Drowsy, Spiritomb and Weezing. Three Pokemon that could definitely make for some very bad looking fusions, but I thought Drowsy, for obvious reasons, would make for some of the worst ones. And my rival would then have a Wii Tomb for the rest of the game. Since it's part Ghost type and my Drowsy only has Pound as an attacking move, I couldn't even hit it so I lost my very first battle. And normally I would get my Pokeballs after delivering the parcel, but I also randomized items so now we can capture Pokemon with Bug Gems. I also found a random unknown item that has no purpose whatsoever. A great start to the randomized run. I also captured a Shellsis and if we unfuse that we can either get a Shelter or a Sol Losis fusion, and I feel like Reuniclus is going to make for some bad things too. I mean, it's literally a fetus. I then fused this Losis with my War Turtle to create something pretty weird. He really needs to stop looking at me like that. Shortly after, I found Mr. Cute, so we have already gotten Mr. Mime to create some abominations with. I then captured a Slowpoke and a Magmar and fused this Magmar with Mr. Mime to create Mr. Mar. With Mr. Mime, I decided to take on Mob, and he starts off with a cursed Pokemon of his own. A Tentasect. Luckily, Mr. Mar was able to confuse both of his Pokemon with his looks. That we can move on to Viridian Forest and capture a Ghastly, which is also going to be useful because Gengar makes for a lot of scary stuff. And I also found a Jinx, one of the most cursed Pokemon in the regular Pokemon games, so get ready to get scarred for life. I also grabbed a Valplume and a Duskull, and for now on, I'm not gonna show every Pokemon I capture anymore because otherwise, this video will be 10 hours long. So I fused Execute with Chansey to create a bunch of eggs, which is very weird to look at. And personally, I would just make an omelette out of these, not use them in battle. Duskull and Galvantula created something out of my nightmares because I'm afraid of spiders, but it still looks cool in some kind of weird way. And lastly is our very own ballerina, Vilesy. Don't let it stare into your eyes for too long. I then pulled up on Brock with my newly assembled team. He started off with Magnificent. Nido, not the super villain, but this thing. And after Solo Turtle killed it with a couple of Psy Waves, he brought out everyone's favorite waifu, Pilovoir. I smashed, I mean embered it, and easily won my first gym badge. I knew I had to fuse my two most cursed Pokemon together, so I created Mr. Nyx. Honestly, I expected something worse. Not that this looks good at all, it's just not as bad as I thought. I then grabbed a bunch more Pokemon on the next route, including a Wobbuffet and Bonnet. I created Wobbly, not because of this thing, but once it evolves, it's going to turn into something very funny. I then also fused Bonnet and Dino together to create Bano, and I really don't know what to say about this one. Let's just say if this thing ever comes on the market as a plushie, I'm never going to buy it. I also put Sloking and Polito together, and those are are staring right through me. I helped out Brog by clearing Team Rocket out of Mount Moon because just like last time they were doing a ton of experiments in there. I found a Whalmer and I absolutely love this because Whalord is one of the funniest Pokemon to fuse myth in this game. But before he evolves I fused him with Ferro Seed and he seemed pretty happy about that. But I know deep inside he's depressed that he looks like this. Hey, I'd be too. I fused Ponyta with Magmar and I don't know how this thing is alive. How does it stand with those legs? I then went to Cerulean City and just before entering the Nugget Bridge we have another battle with Mob. He sends out a Riolo with no arms and Bano takes care of it with two Dragon Rages. Ponymar then takes out Fardrio with a couple of Flame Wheels. He then has a Mew Wario that looks pretty cool in my opinion, but also ends my life. So Whale Seed is able to Water Gun it and then bring out his last Pokemon Weetomb, who gets killed by my Solo Turtles Bubbles. On the next route I captured a Jumpluff, Klefki and Omastar and headed straight to Bill's house. 
and I wish that I could use the Rhydon Bill Fusion as my very own Pokemon, but we have to unfuse him and take his SS ticket. By the way, if you could fuse yourself with a Pokemon, who would you fuse with? I feel like a Rodon would be pretty fun, just being able to take over every single electrical thing is going to make a lot of people's lives way more horrible. I've used Diglett and Zubat together to create a flying turd. Omare asked me to end his life after I fused them together, but the worst one by far was Sheldered combined with Steelix. I think he will stick around for a while. And he has skill links, so Icicle Spear is always going to hit five times. So let's go and take on Misty next. She started out with an Hootmind, which was an easy kill for Mr. Nyx with some Ice Punches, and then she had a Pit 9. So two of her Pokemon were starting bird fusions. Anyway, Bano did this thing with knockoff, and second gym badge is acquired. After the battle, I fused Jinx together with Politoed, and just why? You know, just why did I do this? I don't know. I also captured a Primeape and fused it together with Mr. Mime to create Mr. Ape. He's ready to grab you and never let go. I also captured two Miltank and fused them together. And if you ever need some milk, just go and ask this girl. While fighting a random trainer, I ran into Ro Cargo, a literal lava lamp, and I just love this. I lost the battle against my rival on the SSN, but when I tried to return, he was just gone, so I couldn't redo it. But don't worry, we'll get him next time, because then his cursed Pikainx is not going to be there. I let Mr. Ape rub with the captain's back, and as a reward, he threw me off the ship, and I landed in Lieutenant Surge's gym. As per usual, the gym leader's Pokemon look more cursed than mine, as he starts out with a Parano that confuses my Bano and then kills me with a couple more Psybeams. So without doing any damage to it, I bring in Miltank and use a couple of stomps and decide to stall him out with milk drinks. But he had a stall method of his own, using super potions and confusing me with Psybeams, so in the end, my Miltank once again died. Mr. Ape killed it with a seismic toss, I put Ditteon out of his misery with some karate chops, and his last Pokemon was in Honchflower. It seems like the male gym leaders in this region are fan of of Gardevoir fusions. I first stalled out 10 draining kisses on this Honjvoir with recover and then I just chopped it out of here. Third gym badge is ours, time to grab a gym lad and fuse him with Mr. Mime to create Mr. Choke. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't get arrested. I think grab the Weep Insect because you can make a lot of bad fusions with that mouth. And also a Gardacan who I can unfuse and then eventually make my very own Gardevoir fusions with. So I followed in Brock's footsteps and fused it with Swine. Only this time she turned into this guy from Mob Psycho. I fused Macargo with Reuniclus to create a lava alien looking thing. I don't know, but please get it away from me. I entered Pokemon Tower and knew it was time to battle Mob again. It was my solo turtle versus his Rotula. I was able to take it out with some water pulses. I also killed Weetomb with a Psyshock. Charter with Water Pulse again, and Korchu, despite being really cute, was no match against my Psyshock. Somebody on Twitter told me to fuse Dodrio with Miltank, and oh my god, what is this? He's literally squirting milk in his own face. So I fused my other Miltank with a Marsh Tomp. I really didn't have to see my boy with others. I really didn't. It's finally time for Wobbly to evolve too, and this is what I mean, he turned into that one meme emoji. I mean, that's literally me when you don't subscribe. I evolved my eggs into eggs with hair, and fused Victory Bell with Gardevoir. And the only thing I'm wondering is if it actually also eats out of that mouth too. I went through the entire sewer system of Celadon together with Erika, and found some mucks here, and... Muck is also a pretty cursed Pokemon. I mean, just turn his name around. So I've used Muck with Muck, and yeah, this thing is just not too happy to be alive, to say the least. I feel like it might even be a reference to its counterpart, Weezing, which is pretty cool if you think about it that way. We do eventually reach the end of the sewer system and into the boss Giovanni's hideout. He just beat up Erika and thinks he's also going to whoop my ass pretty easily. Little did he know that my Shellix Icicle Spear would always hit five times and destroy his entire team. Since Erika's battle was straight after, I didn't do any more fusions and just headed in there. To my surprise, he started out with a Porygon Z Skarmory fusion with Download. 
A little scary, but it gets less scary when you realize it's actually a normal flying type, so Icicle Spear from Shellix once again did the trick. Mr. Choked grabbed on Larry and knocked it off a couple of times to take it down, and the last Pokemon was a PGY, and I just love that name. It was able to take out Mr. Choke, but Shellix's Icicle Spear once again came in clutch, so that's our fourth gym badge in the pocket. A new gym badge, time for a new Mr. Mime Fusion, and this time, it's fused with Electrode to create Mr. Ode. Yeah, I don't know which one's worse, Mr. Ape or Mr. Ode, but I think Mr. Choke still takes the cake. I fused Cloyster with Omastar to create something you could probably find at the seafloor, and that's why you should stay away there. Valorath is just happy to be here, but in a very cursed way. Clefnod is something straight out of a kid's horror game, and Drought Choke is just a big no, but if you evolve it into Hip Choke, it isn't as bad anymore. But if you then read Hypno's Pokedex entry, it does get pretty bad to see him with muscles. Duo Turtle evolved into Duo Toys, and then we went back on our journey and ran into a Seek Rule. If I ever find these two Pokemon, I'm fusing them together because this is probably the most cursed thing we've seen yet. I went to Mr. Fuji, who apparently doesn't even have anything wrong with him, so we get our Poke Flute, wake up a Snorlax that's actually a Deoxys, and even though I wanted to capture it, he just teleported away. I also grabbed an Apom, but I know a lot of people hate Ambipom, so he's just bound to be very good for fusions. Speaking Speaking of Snorlax though, I actually found one randomly in the grass, so that's nice. I'll let Ace Wine speak for himself. It just seems like almost everything fused with Primeape is going to turn into something bad. Just look at Ekape. Kabunix is just making me feel very uncomfortable with all of the little eyes on its body. And Snorlax combined with Steelix is just a drooling mess. Then further on my way to Viridian City, I found the Team Rocket Balloon, which was super cool to see. And I'm guessing that's just Drifloon combined with Meowth. I captured probably the scariest and most disgusting looking Pokemon yet, Zucrul, and also grabbed the Tangrowth because his vines are going to make people cry. I then reached Fuchsia City and went straight to the Ninja Master's hideout. He started out with a Butter Lord, despite not looking like something made out of butter, Snorlax was still able to eat it. He then had a Mega Slowbro, which you get by just fusing two Slowbros together, and Snorlax did what it did best again, eating it with Crunch. He then sent out his Gligros, and this looked way better than I imagined. It actually kind of looks like a scorpion now. So Snorlax crunched through it and his last Pokemon, Bulbatu, without any more problems. A new gym badge, time for some more fusions. I created Mr. Growth, who's going to grab you with one of his many hands. Probably not as strong as Mr. Choke, but I'd still stay away from him. Ever had a kiss from a spider? Well, time to get one with Gentula. I then went to the Safari Zone, grabbed a couple more Pokemon there, and because there is an entire new section in the Safari Zone, with a complete maze and everything, I decided to complete this as well, and at the end I found a Volcarona that turned out to be a Duosion. I had to evolve Zulcruel into Golcruel, and it doesn't look as cursed anymore, but it's still pretty bad. I then did a couple of of Machamp fusions to create Rat Champ, as well as Tenta Champ, who are people that I don't really want to run into in the gym. I got Unnode, a Pokemon that is literally just a big eye, and Uncued, which is just a whole bunch of eyes. It's like the eggs from before, but this time they're even worse. Chansey with Unknown doesn't look any better. It's like one of those eyes in video games that keeps staring at you as like a security system. I evolved Cabalix, and I have to say it doesn't look any better. It's just a weird bug out of my nightmares. And if Swampert actually looked like this, it would not be my profile picture. Again, Unknown bringing even worse fusions. As you can see, Snorlax has just been fully taken over by it, but it's not as bad as this Ambipom Reuniclus fusion who's ready to make sure you never ever sleep again. Why does Gengar combined with Golurk have so many tongues? It kind of reminds me of Hoopa's Unbound form a bit though. Just a lot more scary. Snorlax really isn't having a good day because once you combine it with Gengar, he just dies. Don't tell me this just comes straight out of a creepypasta. Pharaoh Seed with Klefki just turns into an empty shell of itself with keys on it, but putting it together with Ambipom is even worse. Those hands are not made to tickle you. Golem with Unknown is just looking at you from every angle and it makes me feel very, very uncomfortable. Wobblord is just a funny guy. 
I love him. Not cursed or anything, but just wanted to show you how cool he is. Wobbuffet with Genghis Kong, on the other hand, just look at those feet. I wouldn't post those on OnlyFans if I was you. I just don't like Mac Tulla. I don't know if it's the lips or the shape of the body, he's just too cursed for me. Blastlord really isn't that bad, but its cannons just make me feel some kind of way. I just don't like them. Another funny guy is just Slalord. And Ratlord can't even close his mouth because of the big teeth that he has. But by far the best Waylord fusion is By Lord. He's just so goofy and weird that I'll add him to the team. But that's enough fusions for now. Let's head to Sylphco and battle our rival. He now leads with a Chanster against Mr. Growth. I managed to put it asleep with a sleep powder and then take it out with some Giga Drains. Shilgon then put me to bed with a crunch, and I brought in Bylord, and because I thought that I could outspeed, I set up a sword stance, but Double Edges destroyed me fully. Genglax took it out with Shadow Balls, but he then had a Waylord fusion of his own, a Diglord. Of course, it took me down with Earthquake, I bring in Ryu Palm, Nasty Plot Up, and kill Diglord with Psychic, and his last two team members as well. Straight after that, I'm battling Giovanni with the same guy I just beat up. I'm a little sad that he didn't have more weird and cursed Pokemon, because that's kind of what you need if you want to be on my side. Anyway, Giovanni starts off with two Charizard fusions, Char Lord and Charth, which is just Meowth and Charizard's Gigantamax forms combined, and I love it. I proceed to take both of them down with Earthquakes from Unlum, but his Aegid Dash and Murgle take me down. Mectola then takes down the Murgle with Lava Plume, and the Aegid Dash is still standing. It's able to finish me off with Fire Blast, so I bring in Ginglax, Shadow Ball it, and take down Giovanni. We get our free Master Ball as usual and head straight to Sabrina's gym. Her team was a little bit underwhelming, starting out with a Shellbone who went down to Mildrio's Drillpex. I know I should have Milk Drinked here, but my brain just clicked Drillpex and Duncarp was able to take me down with Air Slash. Ginglax took it down with Body Slam, and the next Pokemon, Clefrona, might have beautiful wings, but still was a two shot with Electro Ball from Magma. Shetzerharp looked pretty cool, but still had only 1 HP because of the Wonder Guard ability, and a single flamethrower won me the battle. Anyway, time for some more fusions. Duck Mega is ready to, I guess, bug you in the night while you're trying to sleep. Exec Trio is a little bit too much of Execute, I'd say. Piggy King almost looks as bad as Mr. Choke. I feel like he might even have bigger arms and hands. But Rat King was even worse in my opinion. Bad Knight is just one of those creepy NPCs that follows you around the entire story and in the end is just like the big bad boss and turns into something even worse. If you thought Bennett was a cursed doll, just take a look at Hydrat. And if you like Milk, Miltoys is absolutely ready to provide you with some. I hope that is Milk and not something else. Meowpert looks like the worst treasure goblin ever ever designed, and Shetpert is just a weird guy. Time to head to Cinnabar Island before it was wiped off the map and check in with our favorite gym leader, Blaine. Shitpert puts in the work immediately by taking out Bulba Fable with some Phantom Forces because I do have the Wonder Guard ability, and since I'm Ground Bug, this thing has nothing good against me. Zidon did a little bit too much thinking, and I think his head is about to explode. So I put it out of its misery, but it's nasty, had Hydro Pump, so Shitpert is down. Not like it matters too much because Victory Vor is able to one-shot it with Leaf Storm, and his last Pokemon Chintu got knocked out by Hydra's Sucker Punch. Team Rocket steals a boat like usual, but that's not why we're here, we're here for more fusions. And I found a Licky Licky in the abandoned mansion and fused it with Tangrowth to create a Licky Growth. This Gustin. Mr. Licky got his tongue in a tangle, but I honestly thought this was going to look way worse, so it's not that bad. Mr. Mime with Dust Clops creates Mr. Clops, and he's ready to steal your dog. Ever seen a flying tongue? Well, Licky Bad is the closest equivalent to it, and I'm glad these aren't real bats. Toga Growth looks like that one Yu-Gi-Oh card. With those fusions done, I went straight to Mount Ember and challenged Giovanni and his Zap Molkuno to one final battle. Either he wins and I stop using cursed Pokemon, or I win and he has to get rid of Team Rocket. To be honest, I'm kinda hoping he wins, but let's find out, shall we? Actually, I forgot to mention one more thing. Mr. Noir joined the team as well, and he comes straight out of the mind of somebody that's afraid of clowns. Also probably the second scariest fusion behind Zucruel that we found. But I started out with Genglax against Zap Molkuno. 
and he was able to do almost nothing. Just one shadow ball on Moltres and that was it. Because as I've already said in past videos, this thing can attack three times every turn. Mr. Noir somehow hit two psychics, which almost brought down the Moltres head. Rat King then finished it off with Hyper Fang, got one more hit in on the Articuno head and then bit the dust. I sent out my Muck and then just used Explosion to do a bunch of damage on both heads. Tentachamp has no guard so his dynamic punch punched through the Articuno head and also he easily destroyed the Zapdos head with some poison jabs. And that's that, Giovanni defeated. We can move on to Viridian City to do some extra fusions. I created Banloom who just has every single piece of its body on a different string. Zolex is just the worst furry art I've ever seen. Manium looks kind of cute but also kind of very weird with all of the tentacles that are around its neck. And the Deathless Stare doesn't help with it either. Muck with Steelix just looks like a Steelix that's eaten a Muck and it's now taking over its body and killing it. And Mubad just... I mean just look at it. It's dead. It's straight up dead. And with these new fusions, I went to Giovanni to wipe him off the face of the earth. He starts out with one of the funniest and most unlikely fusions ever, Shrurom. It is a grass electric type or grass dragon type, so my Mulex's gunk shots took it down very quickly. I get taken out by Corbel and swap in Licky Bat. I then use six power punches to maximize my attack and use Leech Life to kill it and get some HP back. Quickip is super cute, but I easily one shot that too. I didn't know what to use on Garlics because I was afraid that it was a steel dragon type and that power whip would do no damage, so I went for power punch didn't do enough and I got destroyed with a single stone edge. It also easily killed Manium because my Surfs and Hydro Pumps and Magic Leaves were all not very effective. Banloom then finished it off with Sky Uppercut finally and Magnemime was no problem with a Spore and two more Uppercuts, we win our final Gym Badge. Before taking on my rival, I evolved the Magtula and it now gets a cannon on its back but its face still looks way too cursed to me. Now let's head to Victory Road and take on our rival for the second to last time. He has a Qtata that isn't cute at all, it just looks like it's stealing a Cubone skull and even though Mewbad was at a straight disadvantage here, I still wing attacked it twice to take it down. Jigglicle is actually a shiny because shiny shuckle is normally blue. It easily took me down, so I swap in Tentachamp, surf it twice, and boom. It's out of here. Dark Bat's air slashes were the end of my Tentachamp, so I brought in Magtula and discharged it. Agdon was an absolute menace. If you look very closely, it's like the metal on Agron has just rusted to the color of Groudon's body, and that looks super cool. I brought in Hydred, and for some reason he swapped out his Agdon for Aged Top, and with just two Phantom Forces, that thing was out of here. Weetomb was also no problem with two Sucker Punches, and then Agdon came out again. Again. I spammed Sucker Punch and Phantom Force until it died, and because I have a Levitate, this Agdon couldn't hit me with its principal blades. Mob down and out. We make our way through the worst cave of all time, Victory Road, and reach Indigo Plateau, where we have to do our last couple of fusions to try and make the ultimate team before challenging the Elite Four and Champion. So strap in tight, because I got a lot for you. First up was B-Swine, and I don't even know what this thing is, but I wouldn't want it flying around in my garden. b rig is also something you wouldn't want to see around running in Africa or the local zoo. Miltank combined with Mug, just, just look at this, please, please. Why does this exist? It's definitely going on the final team though. Garduk is also pretty bad. It's so bad she's even crying out her own sludge. Milchamp is probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Why? No. You don't want to come home and see Jinking lying on your bed. It's just the worst Jinx fusion I've probably ever seen. Slowbro with Groudon is just super goofy looking, but then Slowbro with Tangrowth is something straight out of a nightmare. Gengar with Mr. Mime is not as bad as I would have expected it to be, but Mr. Mime combined with Victory Bell is cursed. It's like the alien from Stranger Things, but worse, which means another final team member acquired. I then fused the Gengar with Dusknor to create... Yeah, just look at it. Do I have to say anything else? Ban Palm is ready to stand next to your bed at night. That's all I'm saying. I can't believe they did this to Reuniclus, ma'am. Once you fuse two of them together, it creates this. I really don't like it. Then you have Unlord. 
just a waylord with one big eye in the front, always watching you from deep beneath the sea. Unlicky though is even worse, because it has no eyes, only on his tongue, so this one's definitely going on the team. Milpom literally has others as fingers, just imagine having to draw this as a sprite maker. Some of these people must be scarred for life. And we're going to finish off with just a funny one, what does the peasant say to the king? My lord. With that extremely bad pun out of the way, let's jump right into the Elite Four battles. Aegis Zing is Lorelei's first Pokemon, but she swaps it out for Clefra. So I one shot it with Shadow Ball, I also take out Perkazam, the next Pokemon with Sucker Punch. I send out Jinking and used Body Slam a couple of times, but I forgot to change the Truant ability to Jinx's ability, which means it's almost useless at this point. I was still able to take out the Talonchula with some Body Slams, but Atli took me down in an instant. Mr. Bell shows up for the very first time and takes it down with three psychics. Aegis Zing is a three shot, but it was able to use Disney Bond, so my Pokemon went down too, but in the end, that doesn't really matter. Because we can move on to Bruno, baby. He starts out with a Nidoturtle Turtle, against, sadly enough, my Milchamp. Of course, some body slams easy to care of it, and Zupai is also a Pokemon that doesn't belong in the Elite Four, so body slam that out of here. I feel very sentimental for that Zupai. Getting body slammed by Milchamp is not something you want. For Picadrivas, I went into Genwar, Shadow Balled it out of here, and moved on to Dew Free. It was setting up with Quiver Dances and then took me down with Ice Beam, so I brought in Jinkin and went for the double body slam to finish it off. Licky Cute is not cute at all and also very cursed. Despite almost going down to two body slams, it survived at like 1 HP and took me down with Power Whip. So Mr. Bell's Psychic was all we needed to finish off Bruno and move on to Agatha. Agatha has a Venatoad against my Milchamp. Two thick boys. After bringing it down to red health with body slams, she healed it up and I swapped into Milluk. I proceed to take it out with body slam and gunk shot and then MAGV comes out. By the way, how bad is it that Milluk can learn gunk shot? That aside, MAGV didn't go out without a fight, hitting me with a couple of flamethrowers before finally falling to body slam. Taruna finally finished me off, so I brought in Unlicky, went for two strengths, and it's down and out again. Arcanine's been taken over by a fungus, so Unlicky's here to just go and die. Mr. Bell had no problem taking it out with two psychics though, and what is it with trainers and fusing their legendaries with Chinchows? I'm not gonna lie, Chinkia looks absolutely amazing, except for the head. So I go for the Sleep Powder, hit two Leaf Storms on it, then swap out into Jinking, somehow live on 1 HP after a Spatial Rend, and Body Slam it out of here so we can take on Lance. And Lance had probably one of the weakest Pokemon ever alive. Hootkern. So Milchamp dealt with it. Hitmonlur was actually a menace to society as it took down Mr. Bell, Jinking, and Genwar before Mila could finally finish it off with Zen Headbutt. Porosaur looked super cool with the Minecraft tree on its back, but Milluk once again one-shotted it with Gunk Shock. Mondra almost finished me off with a Hydro Pump, but three body slams did the trick, Lobbok was his final Pokemon, and am I glad that snakes don't look like this? Because I don't know what certain people would do to them. I know what I would do with them though, smash them back into the ground with Zen Headbutts. Now it's time for the champion battle against Mob. Let's see if our cursed Pokemon can conquer the region. Well, he starts out with a Gearava. It's intimidate, so Milchamp is crippled from the start. I then almost take it down with Mr. Bell by putting it to sleep and using Psychics and Leaf Storms, but after he used a full restore, I swapped out for Jinking and took it out with Body Slams again. Hitmonlur looks like he needs to be hitting the gym a bit more, because once he was up against my Milchamp, I dynamic punched it and that was the end of him. Spiroto was no match for Jinking's Ice Punch, Omo Orb might look like it's no problem, but Genwar definitely doesn't think the same way, because he got destroyed by Hydro Pumps. Mr. Bell then blew it away with a Leaf Storm, he then sent out his starter Weetomb, but he didn't know I had Zen Headbutt, so he swapped it out immediately for his very own Mr. Mime Fusion, Mr. Crow. Two body slams later and Weetom comes out again. This time Milluk had no HP left so a Dark Pulse finished me off and I ended the battle by bringing in Mr. Bell, putting the Weetom to sleep, using two psychics 
and that was that. We have defeated Pokemon Infinite Fusion once again with only cursed Pokemon. This was probably one of the most fun runs I've ever done just because of the amount of crazy stuff I've seen and it was a lot of fun with you guys helping me out in my community tab and on Twitter showing the very worst fusions that you guys got. I am definitely not done with Infinite Fusion so let me know what run you would want to see on this game in the future but don't worry the next couple of videos will in fact be different games. With all of that out of the way, I of course want to thank my membership and Patreon supporters. It is super appreciated right now because I'm currently buying a house, so all the help is super great. And if you want to help me out yourself, you can click the links in the description, but it's always appreciated, just not needed. And as always, people, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I'm Zwigo, and I'll see you guys next time.